What's up, everybody? It's Puppet Gremlin George, and welcome back to day 20 of the Gremlin Countdown Calendar. So let's just jump right into it and see what we have under day 20. So day 20 is right here, folks. It's a bigger one, like day 19. So it's probably another gremlin. Let's go ahead and see which one it is. Man, these things are tough. Ooh, a gremlin it is indeed. So it looks like it's Mohawk from Gremlins 2. More menacing than Stripe from Gremlins 1. I'm still gonna go with the lightning gremlin as my favorite, but let's go ahead and try and get a decent close-up of Mohawk. And there he is, folks. It's Mohawk. You can see all the gremlins and mugwise in their seats around him. Have to try to pick him up by his ear if we can see his face a little bit. Pretty cool looking gremlin. But let's go ahead and get back to Puppet Gremlin George before we can figure out what our Gremlins movie fact is for December 20th, 2020. Hey everyone, it's Puppet Gremlin George again. So let's go ahead and discuss another fact from my very own documentary movie, Gremlins. So I guess when Gremlins was originally created, it could have been a whole lot darker. The original Gremlin script, written by Chris Columbus, was much, much darker. Case in point, earlier scenes included the Gremlins eating Billy's dog, then decapitating his mom and throwing her head down the stairs. Spielberg, director Joe Dante, and Warner Brothers were all in agreement that they should tone down the gore in order to make the movie more family friendly. All I can say is, wow, that would have been a whole different movie. Talk about a rated R B-list movie it would have ended up being. I'm so glad the other guys like Spielberg and the director Joe Dante stopped, stepped in to tone it down because Gremlins is an annual Christmas movie at this place. So, thank you for that. But anyway, thanks for tuning back in for Day 20 and... Come back tomorrow for day 21. We're in the final week of Christmas. So thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to comment below. Let's talk gremlins. And I will see you all tomorrow.